Good evening and welcome to Rogers High School. My name is Jason Paris and I am excited and honored to be serving the students, the parents, the staff and community of Rogers High School. Class of 2024, here we go. It is going to be an amazing year. We are welcoming 404 ninth grade students. Those of you who have had older siblings and those of you who this will be your first experience with RHS, we would like to welcome you to Rogers High School and we look forward to working with you and meeting all the new faces this fall. A little bit about me. This is my sixth year here at Rogers High School. I believe I have the best job in the world. Spent five amazing years at Rogers Middle School as the principal. I also had 10 years at Armstrong High School where I was a teacher, coach, and director of the alternative school. And I had two years as an assistant principal at Tartan High School. Uh, I have three kids. I have a first year college student. I have a senior in high school and I have a sophomore in high school. I tried to get all three kids to come to Rogers High School, but they did not want to go to school where their dad was the principal. And I can't forget, I have a very supportive wife who takes really good care of me. I'm very appreciative of her. Our mission here at Rogers High School is to educate, inspire, and empower our students, our staff, our families, and our community through developing positive relationships, pursuing excellence, seeking diversity, and building futures. They make up our four cornerstones of what we are about here at Rogers High School when we talk about relationships, excellence, diversity, and futures. We'd like to show you just a quick three minute video that highlights last year.
while this year may look a little different than last year, one thing that will always remain the same is at the core of what we're about is creating a positive culture that establishes positive relationships and positive experiences. A little bit about the people that I get the privilege to work with uh, every day. A few of them you'll meet here uh, today, this evening, and some you'll meet uh, eventually either through email or when uh, uh, Google Meet or something like that during the school year. Ryan Johnson is assistant principal here at Rogers High School with the last names A through H-A-R. Jill Inquist is also an assistant principal here at Rogers High School, has the last names H-A-S through O. And then Mike Zeman is another assistant principal here at Rogers High School, works with the last names P through Z. And then Dan Olgren is our activities director here at Rogers High School. Again, I'm grateful to work alongside these amazing individuals on a daily basis. They have a deep care uh, for students and families and staff, and they make me better. Our counselors here at Rogers High School uh, are amazing. Uh, very simply put, they're amazing. Uh, they are here to help support your student as they go through four years here at Rogers High School. And I'm also grateful to work alongside uh, them every day uh, and proud uh, of the work that they do here at Rogers High School. And tell them a little bit about them. Shannon Mackin is our uh, ninth grade counselor. She just came off of working with our seniors last year. She's unbelievable. You'll get a chance to hear from her uh, this evening. Uh, Don Morrison is our grade 10 counselor. Uh, Ann Bartis is our grade 11 counselor. JC Shrestha is our grade 12 counselor. And then this year, uh, Mrs. Hendrick uh, will be out on leave uh, for a little bit, but Amanda Parker will be filling in uh, in her uh, time away. And so you'll get a chance to meet uh, them as well as they deal with our college and career. It's a great day to be a Royal. You're gonna hear me or staff members or students say that a lot. And really what it's a great day to be a Royal is all about, it's about gratitude, it's about joy, it's about compassion, it's about relationships. It's about having a continuous improvement mindset. It's about refining some of the things that we do here at RHS. It's about personalized learning. It's about equity and it's about collaboration. And one of the things that we talk a lot about is wherever you are in your journey in life, today, wherever, is to lean into that and find the joy and find the gratitude uh, in all things. With that, at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Johnson. Good evening, parents of freshmen and new students, and welcome to Rogers High School. My name is Mr. Johnson, <clears throat> and my portion of the evening is to highlight the uh, model and safety plan that we have in place. As you know, the state has required us to set up uh, one of three models for learning this fall, and uh, as you know from the superintendent's emails that we've elected um, to go to the hybrid model. So real briefly, the hybrid model um, students will go on an A and B rotating schedule. All students will stay home and learn from home distance learning on Fridays. Uh, please note that last spring's distance learning model is not the same as what we're going to implement this fall. There will be more synchronous or at the same time and asynchronous learning experiences on a daily and hourly basis than there were in the spring. On an A or B face-to-face -face day, students can be expected to complete assignments on Schoology, the learning management system. Uh, teachers will also make individual connections with students, uh, build relationships, intervene, uh, and provide extensions and enrichments uh, where necessary and needed. On Students' Distance Learning Day, so again when they're not face-to-face -face with their teacher, students will still be expected to complete their daily learning assignments on Schoology. However, please know that there may be synchronous opportunities for students to log in and live events. Uh, please note that also there may be pre-recorded events and there may not be the expectation of live learning uh, on the days they're not face-to-face. -face. And on Fridays, your students will use their time to finish assignments on Schoology. Uh, teachers can reach out to students for, uh, again, one-to-one -one interventions, meetings with parents, calls, Google Meets, et cetera. And if your student is uh, in the 100% distance learning option, meaning they won't necessarily come into Rogers High School, at least until November 19th, should you choose to come back to the hybrid, uh, please note that they will still follow the same schedule they will still be expected to complete all assignments. Uh, much of the teacher's lessons will be in a hybrid format, 
and they will be flipped or pre-recorded. But also know that even in the distance learning model, students may still be expected to be engaged on an hourly basis, first hour, second hour, third hour, in either a live uh, chat or a discussion board on Schoology. Um, schedules are uh, on the screen. Um, so on any given day the, during the hybrid Monday through Thursday, there will be a six period day. And on Friday, there are priority times set so that if a teacher did want to set up a time during first, second or third hour, uh, those hours are indicated on the screen. But also know that this is the day where teachers will be using it to intervene, have some flexible time, collaborate with their peers, make contacts with families, etc. Regardless of the model that we choose and know that we might be going back and forth between one of the three models, um, your son and daughter's safety is of our utmost concern. Um, you've been emailed and given lots of information on the health guidelines on the website. Uh, we are going to ask um, staff as well as students to complete a daily health assessment where they will you know, take their temperature, uh, identify if they have any uh, symptoms that might prohibit them from coming to school. Um, should they uh, need to go to the nurse's office, of course, we will be equipped to handle that as well. Uh, as you know, there is a mask mandate that is a requirement for all staff and students. Uh, that face covering information will come out in a follow-up email, uh, but that does mean that a face from nose to mouth must be covered by one of the following items on the screen. There are mask guidelines that will be emailed uh, to staff and students. Um, should you require an exemption, that form will be available as well. And finally, social distancing guidelines and all MDE and MDH guidelines will be followed uh, throughout the entire school day for your son or daughter. <clears throat> um, besides uh, physical safety in the sense of staying safe from the virus, uh, we have to attend to school safety. So I'm happy to introduce Officer Amy Berglund, who will talk a little bit about some of the things that she will help support us during the school year. Uh, I wish you all the best for the 2021 school year. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Amy Berglund. I'm one of the school resource officers here at Rogers District. Um, there will be two SROs in our schools. I will be the one at the high school and then there's one that will be at the middle school and that's to be determined. Um, our main goal is our safety and security amongst um, students, staff, everybody that enters and exits the building. Um, some of the things that we do as a school resource officer is we will uh, teach classes in regards to drugs and alcohol, safety, uh, social media, things like that. Also another thing that we will work with the school directly on is our ALICE drills um, along with fire drills. So every year we have so many uh, drills that we do within each school and we just ask that students and staff and everyone involved please take it seriously. It's just a good way to continue to practice and remind yourself um, that if something does happen, we're ready to take action on it. So um, with that said, along with the fire drills, we do the same thing and that can be notified through the school if you need that. Um, I'm always at the high school, so if there's any questions that parents, staff, school, students, whoever needs from me, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at either the school or the police department. Um, and that's kind of where we're at with our SRO program. So thank you to everybody and we look forward to a new school year. Um, at this time, I'm gonna uh, welcome our assistant principal, Jill Engstrom. Hi everyone, thank you for logging on to our virtual event this evening. Uh, my name is Jill Enquist. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Rogers High School starting my third year here. And tonight I'm going to go through just some pertinent information as we prepare to start the new school year. Just some things that you might need to know and that your student will need to know as they enter the building and go through their days here or at home with us. So first things first, when students arrive at school, Bus drop-off is going to take place in the back of the school. We have three different doors that students will be entering, masked, of course, and they will have hand sanitizing stations that we'll be uh, utilizing at each of those three doors. Students who are dropped off for school will be dropped off uh, in front of the building, and you can see on the map the arrows indicating where, the, where cars will enter from 141st Avenue, going past the circle in front of the building and then dropping off at that drop-off zone. We are going to be having some construction happening this year, which we're very excited about. 
but also keeping in mind that it is going to take a portion of our parking lot from us. So you will uh, you'll note on there the arrows where you'll make a quick turn after dropping off your son or daughter or student um, so that they, you can quickly exit the parking lot again. When you do drop them off, we just ask that you draw, or that you pull up as far as you can just to keep all of our students safe uh, and avoid having anyone cross the street to get to the school. When students arrive, we're asking them to go directly to their first hour class. This is in an effort to reduce any congregating in the hallway and common areas, considering the, the six foot physical distancing that is required. Those students who are requiring breakfast or wanting breakfast in the morning are still certainly invited to take advantage of that in the cafeteria and there will be tables set up socially distanced for that. I'd like to talk briefly about intervention and lunches. And Mr. Johnson did refer to our Fridays a little bit, but Friday, as you know, is distance learning day for all of our students. And that is a time where our teachers can connect to uh, lesson plan and um, work with their PLCs. But it's also a, a really important day for all of our students to log in and receive instruction through uh, including enrichment options and intervention services for any students who are trying to catch up or just to take care of un, um, any misunderstandings. So this will be a virtual day for all and it's a really good opportunity for our students to get that intervention time in lieu of our previous uh, win sessions. Fridays mean no students in the building. Everyone of course will be logging on from home. Lunches will still be served here at school and you saw in the schedule that Mr. Johnson shared that it is part of, it is built into our schedule. We know that is it's important for students to be able to see and connect with each other. It's the social aspect is, is a very important part of coming to school. We also need to keep students safe. So we've set up our, our cafeteria in a way that we can make sure that our students are distance six feet apart. Uh, but hopefully this will still provide an opportunity for them to connect just in a slightly different way with their students. Students who are distance learning, 100% distance learning, are able to still take advantage of our nutrition program. Parents will need to pick up lunches here at the high school for the regular lunch fee. Regarding Chromebooks, we need all of our students to make sure that they have a working Chromebook and we need to make sure that they also have a charger for that Chromebook. Ninth graders need to have that Chromebook available on September 1st for our student link night. So if your student's Chromebook from last year does not work or does not hold a charge or you cannot find it, we need you to tackle that issue sooner rather than later. We do have an opportunity for you to pick up a new Chromebook on September 1st, probably before four o'clock so that we can make sure that your new one is charged and ready to go for the link night. So we have an opportunity to pick those up here at the high school two until four o'clock uh, on the first or two until seven o'clock on the first and second for grades 10 through 12. If those times don't work for you, you can call the high school and we will make arrangements to make sure that you have one on time. Just make sure that it is charged and ready to go, like I said, before uh, the link student night on September 1st. And also make sure all those Chromebooks are charged and ready to go for the first day of school. Also regarding Chromebooks, there are some different, um, different things that you need to know regarding protection and user agreements and that sort of thing. So the user agreement is signed by the student and parent, just kind of goes through some different expectations, safety precautions for uh, technology use with our Chromebooks. And we strongly consider you to consider the, um, the protection plan and always, always use the case because even with that protection plan, if the Chromebook, Chromebook were to be broken without a case on it, the protection plan is null and void. Our Chrome Depot does offer support for Chromebooks, so that will be on a touch-free basis as much as possible. They do have a, web, or a, a website and an email address for tech support if needed, and of course you can visit our school webpage for that information. Finally, on this slide, and all of these links will be shared with you in an email this afternoon as well, but we encourage you to take a look at our website 
at the digital, digital wellness page. It is located under academics on the ISD website for tips and support regarding technology use. We know kids learn best when they are engaged and supported in school. And one of our four pillars is positive relationships. That is at the forefront of everything that we do. When we need to address undesired behaviors, we're going to do it with compassion and kindness. One of the things that we'll be working with students uh, with, with regards to behavior is the acronym PRIDE, positive, respectful, intentional, determined, and engaged. So this is something that your student will continue to hear throughout the next four years or during their time here at Rogers High School. Consequences are, when administered, are intended to serve as a means to prevent repeated behavior. And we do have all of our consequences outlined uh, in a grid in our student handbook for your perusal on our school webpage. The uniqueness of distance learning brings a different type of uh, behavior issue that we may need to address. And in an effort to prevent any undesired behaviors, we will continue to work with students to, uh, to acknowledge and, and engage in appropriate digital engagement. Oh, go back a slide. With regards to attendance, this also is going to be, look a little bit different this year. In the hybrid model, when students are face-to-face -face on their assigned day, so A students on an A day, attendance will be taken by the teacher as usual. On their distance learning day, so let's say an A student on a B day or a B student on an A day, their attendance will be self-reported by that student before 2.10 in the afternoon. So we're asking students to log in to uh, Schoology to each of their classes and mark themselves as present. This does not have, it's not the same as grading though. That's just to mark present and to make sure that they have read the expectations for each course for that school day. 100% distance learning students will also be self-reporting their attendance on a daily basis. So that again, that is done through Schoology by logging on and, uh, and clicking into each of their courses. Grading will be based on uh, assessments and artifacts from the class, including Google Meets or coursework, possibly even phone calls or emails with teachers, somehow making a connection to school on a daily basis. We have a variety of resources available here at Rogers High School and you're going to hear from one of them in just a moment, but I wanted to go through a few of these. Infinite Campus, as you likely already know, is our platform for transcripts, grades, uh, monitoring attendance, and um, even some course fees are charged through Infinite Campus. Schoology is a platform in which we are able to post course lessons and it's sort of a communication tool between teachers and students. So Schoology is the platform that they're going to be using, students are going to be using on a daily basis to complete their schoolwork. RevTrack you may be familiar with because that is another source for us to uh, charge for tickets and even donations made to the school. Our school webpage has a wealth of resources and I strongly encourage you to take some time to just uh, click through there a little bit, especially if you go to the Families tab and under Resources, you're going to find a whole list of, uh, of different things that you may find of interest. We do have a parent liaison working with Rogers High School. Her name is Quinn Stahl. She's a really good advocate for our school and students and serves as a really good resource to reach out to if you would like to um, ask a question about our school or find out different ways to get involved. We have a nurse here at Rogers High School, and of course, that is going to play a big role this year to make sure working with us to keep all of our students safe. Um, Ginny and Missy are located in our health office, as well as our licensed school nurse, Laura Benson. We have co-located therapists available here. To work with them, you can simply call your student's uh, school counselor or their assigned assistant principal and we can certainly connect you and get a referral started for that. We also have a chemical dependency counselor who works in our district. So if you have any concerns with your child uh, regarding substance use, feel free to reach out to us and we can connect you with that person as well. And finally, 
Mr. Parris shared with you the names of our uh, guidance counselors. The one working with ninth grade this year is Shannon Mackin, and she is actually going to speak with you next. Good evening. My name is Shannon Mackin. I am the counselor for ninth grade. I'm super excited for this upcoming school year and to get the opportunity to work with a new group of students. Um, just to talk a little bit about credits and requirements for graduation, it's important that you know this information as well as your students. So um, eight credits are required for English, seven for social studies, six math, six science, two fine arts credits, one health credit, one PE or gym credit, and then 12 general elective credits. There are additional opportunities here at Rogers High School that are pretty cool. Um, we have advanced placement courses, which are AP classes, where if the student takes the course and performs well on that test at the end of the school year, they will be able to get college credit that they can take on after they graduate from Rogers High School. We also have actual college classes here in the high school that we call concurrent enrollment courses, and we have some classes uh, through St. Cloud State, the U of M, and Pine Technical and Community College. We also have career and technical options and internships available for students, as well as special support and um, other ways to support your students here at Rogers. One of the best parts about high school is being involved. Um, getting into a, a group or a club that you are interested in and you are with others that are interested in it, um, that's no different this year. We have clubs and app opportunities available for your students, so strongly encourage them to get involved. Um, it's gonna make their high school a wonderful experience. Thank you. Principal Paris, you're up next. All right, uh, a couple things uh, to share as we wrap up this evening is a way to stay connected to Rogers High School. Uh, not only will we be sending out things through our campus messenger blasts, um, we'll also have things posted on our website, um, but also the social media. Uh, all of the assistant principals here have um, uh, a Twitter account. Um, I also have a Instagram account. I will tell you this summer I have probably I uh, haven't been as active on my social media accounts just with um, planning and planning and planning and planning. But uh, I will, as the year starts to kick off, I will start to um, uh, get more information out there that way. We also have a Facebook uh, account as well, too. And we always talk about um, just as we are live in the age of instant communication, um, being careful, being smart, um, and thinking about what you are going to post, thinking about what you're going to put out there for others to see. And we talk to our students about that. Um, and just, it's a good thing on the screen there. Before you uh, send something out, think about it. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? And so as we live in this uh, instant communication age, it's just a good reminder for all of us uh, when we do post things. So Follow along uh, with us on social media for updates. Tonight, um, you will be have an opportunity to join us live. Uh, we will open up a Google Meet from 7.30 to 8.30 tonight. On the screen, you can see uh, the Google Meet um, link. And then there also is a QR code there to your right. So again, at 7.30, join us. Uh, it'll be uh, the assistant principals uh, and myself. Uh, on that call, we'll be able to answer your questions. If for some reason you can't make that, um, you can always email us questions uh, or give us a call uh, and ask those questions too, but we want it to be uh, uh, made available live for you tonight to do that. A couple things just for protocol standpoint, uh, just make sure you check your surroundings for school appropriate uh, attire and space. Uh, mute your mic upon joining and the questions will be asked using the chat feature. So there's a feature on chat and that's where you'll, uh, you'll put in your questions and then we'll, we as an admin team will respond to your questions. And again, just ask that uh, we're positive, we're respectful, intentional, determined and engaged. So if you can join us tonight, that's great. 7.30 on Google Meet. As I wrap up here, uh, the picture you see on the screen there is a picture of the class of 2020. Um, they had a year, uh, an ending to a year that they didn't uh, know that they were gonna have when they started. 
Um, and typically the, the picture that I do show of the class of or any of our classes, graduating class, is when they're throwing their caps up in the air. We still were able to honor, recognize, um, and celebrate with our class of 2020 uh, last year through graduation, and we did that. But it's just a, it's a, re, it's a reminder uh, for me, it's a reminder for all of us that the four years when they come in as freshmen and as you go through your sophomore, junior, and senior year, it goes quick. But we always talk about there, there's the process. You have the start, which our freshmen are going to start. Yes, this year is going to look a little differently. And then we have the process. They're going to go through the process. And you're going to be ups, there's going to be downs, and there's going to be in-betweens. And that's all normal. Um, there'll be uh, mistakes made, things that are going to happen. Um, and just know the end goal is to walk across that um, stage, whatever that stage is, uh, to walk across that stage and get their uh, high school diploma. Again, want to thank you for tuning in, uh, wishing you all the best to stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, we will see you around either through Google Meet or a phone call or an email. Have a great night.